I think it was on Xanax, that's what it was. He was driving down the wrong side of the road. <laughs> oh, wow. Night. Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. Looks like you're heading downtown. everyone this is Chris at real ride share stories I got another story for you today but first uh, it's been pretty busy the last few days with Thanksgiving uh, and the weekend so I wasn't able to put out a few videos uh, but I do have one tonight and I had plenty over this week past weekend uh, you know the Wednesday before Thanksgiving and then over the weekend I had a lot of good stories that uh, uh, happened while I was out. I was actually kind of surprised because it was just that many. Uh, so stick around for those. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you stay up to date on all the ones that are going to be coming out soon. And uh, so let's get into this one. So this story is about a uh, girl that I took uh, from her pickup to drop off. And she had stated how uh, she had been an Uber driver as well. And uh, some of the craziest stories that she's had while being an Uber driver and then also being a passenger uh, who had a wild story for being uh, an Uber driver. So here you go. And we'll see you after. Um, so like I, when Uber first came out from Florida, right? uh -huh. I'm like right in the city. Like downtown, and I live in Griffin. Like, anyways, this is where I'm from. So, like, my boyfriend, um, we were like, uh, it's like two years ago, three years ago, like, whenever it first came out. Um, well, like, it was like, is it first came out? It was, it, was, it, was, it was like really big. So, you know, the surges were like, um, mm -hmm. it was like a surge. So, him and I, we would go to, because um, we both went to UCF at the time. And so, we would go to Gainesville for the football games, which is like Florida State versus North Florida State, the baseball mm -hmm. football game. Right. And so I would always get his passenger. He was he would always Uber drive because I was only 20 at the time. Mm -hmm. He was 21, so I was really allowed to do. So they kind of like broke the rules, but we didn't care. We were just doing, we were just having fun, right? Mm -hmm. So I was in the pa I was in the passenger seat while we were we were, we were all around, and we did it like during the game. So everyone was like, the whole day, just like all these college students, they were all totally very very intoxicated in many ways. Mm -hmm. So like I have a lot of stories. I was going, I know so many life stories and. They all liked me having the car, so you would just talk the whole time. Uh -huh. And I have, and I have a collection, or I had a collection of all the drugs that I was handed. Oh jeez. <laughs> like, like a bunch of ecstasies and mollies and like. Oh, I believe it. And, yeah. Which is like doing Florida State, just Ubering around because these drug dealers are giving out samples, and they are so intoxicated. And they said, "You're cool. Here's some drugs." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> I didn't take any because I didn't know what it was. But I do have like a little a nice baggie, <laughs> like these I collected on that trip for a whole day. <laughs> It was, it was and that was all on, on one day, you were yeah, saying? Yeah, it was all one day. It was homecoming day. <laughs> it was all homecoming. Wow. Um, it was $60. It was almost like we would go like five hours out and we would both like, and he would, like, be like $60 on one round because the surgery was so was so yeah. in demand right, right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happens every once in a while. Yeah, Especially but, on big games like that. Yeah, him and I, we would, and then like I, and until I became 21, then we would do it together. Well, we didn't really do this. We did this like once or twice, but like, um, we would, um, him and I, we met through playing poker competitively. <laughs> so oh, nice. what we would do right before a poker night, find a big event somewhere downtown, drive for an hour, make so much money off the surges, and go and spend it all on a poker game. <laughs> that's like how we use. That's what we use Uber for. Nice. Poker money. So what, what's your craziest story then? Oh, uh, um. So like, uh, one time, um, it's just, it was so long ago. Probably like the drug one. Just, drugs from drug dealers like I can't I can't specifically name like one person but mm -hmm. like just that day was pretty nuts um I Uber a lot myself and Lyft because it's really cheap actually I yeah so and like try to like buy a car it's pretty nice it's not too bad um it's handy because I like to travel a lot I've had some I've had some pretty weird Uber drivers <laughs> in my day 
Well, then, what's a, what's a good story of a, um, of a driver? Most times in Florida, they don't speak Spanish. They don't speak English. They don't okay. speak English, yeah. the Uber drivers. Um, I had a lady buy me breakfast once because we went to take an SAT test. For, so, oh, nice. like, a big test in college. That was really nice of her. I didn't ask for that. She just did it. Um, That's pretty cool. Yeah. Like crazy drivers. Oh, my God. One time, I was, like, in this car, and I swear to God, this guy was so drunk. Or he was on something, and we literally, like, almost, like got in like two collisions like really bad ones where like he like i think it was on xanax that's what it was he was driving down the wrong side of the road <laughs> oh the wow. night and i was and i was just like i asked like, can you please pull over i'm gonna get out now and i like got out of the car and called a different uber and i was just like i'm terrified but no we got to the point where we were like like driving down the wrong side of the road at like two o'clock in the morning on like up like a six lane road <laughs> because he was so like doped out on, on xanax and stuff or I think that's what it was. I don't know what you should. Well, he, he probably was getting the free samples from the dealers. Probably. And, honestly, and like... Took one accidentally. Maybe, but... I don't know. Like, I don't know. I was, like, driving around. Yeah, I've noticed that. When, I've, when I'm in Florida and I take uh, Uber Lyft, yeah, it's... Very rare you get somebody who speaks English. I know, it's so sad. I'm fluent in um, Spanish and Italian just okay. because I grew up in Florida. Not because I wanted to be, just because, like, it's like, well, you just, it's weird not to know that. Uh huh. So, what are you doing up here? Um, I go to college, I go to grad school. All right, so I don't know what y'all doing in Florida, but apparently you're getting some drugs when you're driving for Uber or Lyft. Um, so quite interesting. I have uh, never actually had that experience uh, where somebody offered me drugs, and I'm actually okay with that because I wouldn't take it anyway. Uh, but either way, uh, it's always uh, an interesting story to hear. So here's another thing too. If you want to be featured on this channel, there's a couple of ways you can do that. If you'd like to share your story, if you are a driver for Rideshare, then make sure to email me your story. Uh, take a video kind of like this and just share your story of what happened with one of the craziest rides you've had with a passenger. And same thing for a passenger. If you had a crazy rideshare driver, send it my way. You can email me. My link is in the description. It's also in the video. It's at realridesharestories at gmail.com. Maybe you could be featured. So with that being said, we'll see you next time. So make sure to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you'll be able to see uh, when new videos are uploaded and released. And if you enjoy this video or others, make sure to like, comment, and share. We'll see you next time.